I'm not asking for subscriptions a lot, but this right here is a really, really good tip, and I would really like to you to hit the like button for it. Because if you're watching this video and they have not known about this tip before, this is really going to improve your uh, game. Because Big Nick Low is a great defense as is. And these two adjustments, they really, really make it great. Now we're going to start by cover three and then we're, go and we're going to look at how you can attack a cover three style defense. We're, gonna we're in the West Coast offense, by the way. And we're going to... Um, they have two out routes. Nah. They have PA comebacks, but we are basically... We're gonna gonna move the ball back a bit and we're going to show you how easily you can attack a, a defense like cover three a defense like cover three can be really really easily exploited by two out routes by two deep out routes wrong controller if you look at this play right here you can see that both of the outside receivers are on out routes and both of them are going to get open against cover three That's the first one, and we're going to show you that the other one gets open as well. On the left. So you see, really, really easy to complete that. Now, now we're going to switch to the play. We're going to go to cover two. And if I now try to throw the same out route that I just threw against uh, cover three, against with a cover two out there, this is usually a pick. If I click on there on defense, I can't because I have two controllers. But if I click on there on defense, that's a pick. So how can I get my cover three to stop, um, uh, to stop out routes, but also protect the middle of the field? Because now you're gonna see that if you're running cover two, the middle of the field is really weak. If we look at it now. Right there, it gets bumped. And basically, the zone in the middle has to choose. Either it's going to defend the post, or it's going to defend the in route. That's really bad if you're the user in the middle of the field and you have to guard all the way back the post, or else it's going to be a touchdown. That's really bad for you. So what is the compromise? The compromise the, the compromise is a formation like Big Nickel over G, where you can have both of those things. Basically, this is the defense that I'm going to set up. Right there. So you see we have a cover three uh, with deep zones but two cloud flats right there on the outside if we then move those guys back a bit they are not going to get beat on one play touchdown so now if i try to throw the out route right here doesn't it doesn't matter which one i'm throwing this is not open see that's a pick now if i want to attack the middle of the field let's do that same adjustment if I want to attack the middle of the field, there is a safety right there, ready to collapse on me. Usually, I'm gonna, I'm, now I'm going to show you how the defense is set up and how you can prevent that from happening. Basically, you want to click triangle twice, then you're in this menu, and then you're going to select triangle, move the left stick to the left to put him in an outside third. This then put, puts him in the outside third, just like that, and you're going to do the same thing. Press triangle twice, then X, and then the right stick to the left, him in the other outside third, and then you're going to put both of the outside cornerbacks in cloud flats, which is triangle twice, then square for the square cornerback, down on left stick for a cloud flat, and the same thing on the right, triangle twice, circle, down on the left stick, him in the cloud flat. Now this is all you need. What I would then still recommend you to do is to put a uh, drag ward all the way down here, because basically what would hurt you in this case is something like four verticals. But four verticals, that route is getting played. If I click on there, that's an arcade at least. That's getting played by the zone that's right here. And now I cannot, I, I wouldn't be able to throw the post anymore. So that's the benefit of that setup. Now, there's still some ways to attack this. I'm not going to lie to you. For example, this is beaten the same way that a... Cover 3 is normally beaten, just like that. If I now run this cover 3 beater, which this is a cover 3, one play touchdown, the post. If I now do that, you can see that he gets open for a one play touchdown. Now Tom Brady has a noodle arm, he doesn't get, throw the ball that far. But you see that he would have gotten open. How do we defend against that? 
in re if we ran the cover three like this we would put both of our outside guys in deep halves and that would stop it which is triangle twice then select whichever cornerback you want to put in the deep half in this case sherman right stick to the right deep half same thing on the left uh, double click triangle twice square right on the right stick now if i want to run this cover three beater you're going to see that this is not going to work pick it up please now you see that he's right there to basically pick the ball off. I tried to click on there with the second controller, didn't quite work, but you saw that he was in position. I can do the same thing uh, with my new cover 3 look by just clicking triangle twice, then select either triangle or X, I'm gonna select triangle, and then move the left stick to the right. Now you see he's in a deep half, same thing on the right. Double click triangle twice, then X, right on the right stick. You see how that says deep half R for deep half right. That is in the deep half. And then on the outside, do the same thing with the cloud flats. Double click triangle twice, square, down on the left stick. Double click triangle twice, circle, down on the left stick. Now you see that this is not going to get open. I'm going to run this one more time for you guys, and then we're all already going to be done with this video. So you see, right there, clicking on, and maybe we can take it back with six. He gets off the block. But you see, that this can, this is really, really good coverage, because it basically takes the positives from a cover two with the cloud flash, so you can't throw out draws. And it also counters the negatives of cover two, because it has the middle of the field with the safety covered really 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 powerful defense if your opponent has no idea what you're doing or what yeah what you're doing on defense he's gonna really struggle with the ball now this is not the end all be all there's still really really good ways to counter this but just by the just with this with this setup you're gonna beat a lot of people and at, at very high levels i would say at least to the uh to the and i actually know what they're called like all, all pro MVP is something like that. The third highest division in head to head season, you can we can beat players just by running this defense. Really, really simple. Until after that, you're gonna have to adjust basically out of it. Uh, yeah, adjusting out of it is a bit, is a little bit tricky because you have to understand adjustments and that takes time. You have to try it online and then. Yeah, basically make make a habit of it. So I, I'm not going to explain this in this video because it's a really big topic and I don't want to uh, make this video too long. It's already eight minutes. That this video didn't need to be eight minutes long. I'm sorry, guys. I was rambling a bit. Hopefully you liked the video. If you think that this helped your defense, then obviously hit the like and subscribe buttons. At least the like button. I would really appreciate it if you also hit the sub. I'm out. I actually used this defense in a, number, in, in a game against a top weekend league player and also in a game against the number nine ranked player. Check them out. See you in the next one. Peace.